what is up you guys welcome back to the channel and uh we've got another fun video uh maybe fun for you guys not so much fun for me uh it's just the state of the game right now eh, it could be better but uh here we go we got a match against ny um i believe right now they're first place as well uh very first node uh you guys already know aggression fury uh, got stuck with six seven just because uh uh, it seems like I'm currently the uh, most reliable to take out 6-7 uh, um, uh, with the least deaths. So uh, it saves items both ways. Anyways, this first node, we've got uh, Medusa. Kind of an annoying placement here. Uh, just because you know, AI is going to have a lot to do with how much damage you actually end up uh, taking. Um, but yeah, gonna get in an SP1 pretty early on um, with this node. Uh, as you can see, just taking a lot of damage uh, through block. Gotta bait a lot of uh, heavies as well. Uh, but yeah, it's it's what you gotta do, unfortunately. Uh, you just take the fights and uh, try to mitigate as much damage as possible just by getting little hits. Uh, I also like to. Uh, get Medusa to her SP2 just because I find it uh, a lot easier to bait um, But as you can see she has four furies and uh, Yeah, it's getting a little scary just cuz uh, uh, Yeah, she can start hitting really hard um, kind of lucky intercept honestly um, And she finally got down uh, her or her living strands finally not up uh, so yeah, I'm just like, ah, oh, fine, I'm good. Um, she's gonna go in, SP2, and she's down. Now, onto the next fights. This is the fight that uh, some of you guys might notice something a little funky. Uh, but I'll spell it out for everybody. So we've got a MODOK here. Uh, you guys already know MODOK is already pretty funky with his AI. Sometimes just completely stopping and not doing anything. But I've taken this fight so many times, I'm super confident taking this with Blade um, onto a good start as well. Um, got Bane on him first um, and got uh, managed to punish him there. Got an SP1 to transfer put Bane. Um, but yeah, if, if, if he's about to throw up his auto block and you throw uh, an attack that does two or three hits, um, you're good to go. But first of all, Critical hit through block, an ability that Modok does not have. And the other thing. What? Okay, in slow motion. Did you guys know that Blade doesn't have a third hitbox? When I was doing this in the Lions War, I was like, wait, what wait, what just happened? And I, I basically lost all my health. That one crit for 6.6k. Yeah, it, it's over, man. Um, <sighs> so I counted it all up, and it came out to, uh, including the Bane damage, it came out to um, 16k health that I lost right there. Uh, I was already at like, I want to say under, I, I know I was under 80%, but yeah, it was a huge chunk of my health. Um, I still had Bane on me, which is still ticking pretty high, uh, and there was just no way I was going to finish the fight. So, yeah, I got cucked again by uh, Kabam. Uh, but yeah, apparently that's been a known bug for uh, quite a while, which is pretty surprising. Um, and I, I kind of voiced it to Kabam, like, that today's month, uh, like, or, I mean, this month sucks. It sucks, man. Uh, it, it doesn't feel good to play a, a, a game where you keep getting, um, you keep having to spend potions for a, a mechanic that's not functional. Um, so yeah, uh, and then if you included the critical hits through block, I lost even more health. Um, it was at least, you know, well, you guys saw the 2k health critical. So yeah, not too fun, but <laughs> yeah, it cost me a death, man. Uh, and I would, I have to use, I had to use Void for that, which even more potions. Normally, I use Blade for that node, um, and then I don't have to heal Blade, and I could just use Void and start for the rest of the paths. 
uh, and it saves me so many potions. Um, it saves me a lot of potions, but now I gotta use potions on Void to take on this next fight. Um, this next fight is um, it's got a persistent charge, it ends up being the champion. So, uh, because Void is one of the champions that um, the champion uh, gets his, I'm not sure if it's persistent charges or uh, his his unstoppable even faster than um, than normal. Um, surprisingly, I played this fight pretty well, uh, I or at least I thought I did. I didn't lose too much health. Um, I didn't heal up all the way, just because. Um, it's just you know just being cheap just because I've been losing potions left and right just to um, I guess bad coding but uh, yeah I got in two petrifies which is awesome and uh, four debuffs minute in and yeah this fight is looking really good uh, still got a couple parries in and he's throwing his heavies uh, feeling really good about this fight um, but yeah, normally against the champion, you you just end up getting cornered like pretty quickly. So I was glad that um, this fight went pretty well and I didn't lose too much health because um, yeah, like I said, it's been costing me potions having to deal with uh, all these uh, uh, fun and interactive game mechanics. Alright, on to the next fight. We've got 31, and we're just going to use Stark here. Um, I think, so, and another thing about Kingpin, I guess, uh, I was talking with someone in our alliance. Um, you guys might know him, Clobberin' Time. Uh, he runs one of those, um, what is it, the, I know he runs a podcast. Is it a podcast? I don't even know. Uh, he, he, he runs one of the bots. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, Clarentine was telling me that he, Kingpin isn't bugged, but basically what Kingpin does is that he turns debuffs, he converts debuffs um, to those red fury debuffs, and that for some reason is the reason that uh, Omega Red and Archangel uh, can't or can still have their debuffs um, converted, uh, which for me a little bit kind of malarkey, but um, it is what it is, man. Uh, it just I don't know. It just it doesn't feel right that uh, just because they changed the name. I mean, it's a, still the same thing. It's, just, it's a debuff and it gets converted. I don't know. I don't know. All right, but we're on to the next fight. Uh, no 38. We're gonna go in to this fight with Void no matter what because well, Blaze dead and uh, yeah, it's a rank five tech. 99% uh, of the chance uh, times when it's a rank five tech, it's uh, usually um, Iron Man Infinity War. Uh, uh, I guess the only other rank five would probably be something like Red Skull or something. There's not that many. Uh, insane uh, defenders in the tech class, but uh, yeah, we're gonna take this fight pretty slow. Um, uh, gonna push him to SP2 a couple times, uh, but that's fine. Uh, I do get kind of stuck here. Um, so basically, what happens? He builds up too many furies, uh, but all you gotta do is punish with heavies. But uh, yeah, sometimes he just doesn't want to play uh, nice, so he. Uh, he's just stuck there throwing heavies. Um, now the issue with him having too many uh, armor ups is that you can't throw your special attack because um, uh, it gets auto blocked if he has four armors. So here I am trying to get him the special attack, but uh, yeah, it's just those armor in. But finally we get a shot. Throw in my SP2 real quick. All those uh, armors are gone. So now we're good. I honestly do like playing um, Iron Man Infinity War, just a regular 5 a combo if I can. So as long as he has two armors um, or less, I just normal 5 a combo. Alright, um, and go through an SP1 right there. I just ate it. Basically, 
I just wasn't paying attention. I, like, I'll 100% admit to that. I'll take everything that comes with it. I wasn't paying attention. Um, but all we're gonna do is just gonna let him degen to death. So, yeah. Save me a little bit on some potions. Alright, on to our next fights. Uh, now, there's another uh, fun and interactive part of the game where you join the fight and you automatically take damage. Uh, so this is a rank 5 Iceman. Uh, we got our Stark here, he's at 23.5k health. Um, and basically what I'm going to do here is, instead of healing up, because these past couple wars have been pretty expensive uh, potion-wise, um, is I'm just going to uh, first I check who the mini is and then uh, I see it's a Hyperion so I'm going to use Void for that um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a regen boost I haven't popped a any kind of loyalty boost in quite a while I believe um, I'm pretty sure it's been at least I feel like it's been like a whole season uh, since I popped any kind of loyalty boost, uh, I just don't feel like I need them anymore. Uh, before I, I depended heavily on them, but uh, once you build up that confidence, um, you just just go in and uh, do your thing. But as you can see, I got class advantage, but this Iceman's um, cold snap is still going to take me down to under 50%. So if I didn't have that region boost, I'd probably be down to around 40%, maybe 30%. Um, and luckily, I do have, uh, not luckily, but I do have willpower, so that also helps. So that kind of like shows you how much damage you take just joining the fight. This is a rank 5 uh, Stark. I know he doesn't have a lot of health, but yeah, I just I don't agree with like having to take so much damage uh, without. Uh, doing anything wrong basically it's just not a fun time but we got through the fight um, so we can move on we're gonna go into this Hyperion we get a little bit I don't want to say unlucky but we do have to wait a little bit for the petrified debuffs uh, whenever this loads all right now we can go into the next fight so I actually managed to clear my whole path before I even get, went to sleep which is awesome because that means I can wake up the next morning not having to, not having to worry about Lion Tour um, uh, and yeah so we still have that regen boost so I mean even if we hit guy here with an SP3 I think we'd probably be dead but um, just having that little bit of regen just in case we get a 5 8 combo uh, it's a little reassuring that and I didn't want to push it up either um, okay so we're just kind of playing with Hyperion back and forth uh, trying to get him to base specials uh, at one point he got really close to him uh, throwing a um, special 3 uh, I think it's it might be right here where we get stuck uh, against the wall. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I don't really even know how I did that, but yeah, I managed to evade it all. All right, and we finally got a petrified. I was like, yes, throw my SP2 immediately, get it off. That way I can start uh, building for the SP1. Um, what I should have done though is I should have dashed back in SP1. That way. He would uh, he would have gotten that petrified deep off um, even faster. All right, and he throws his SP2. Now the fight, I mean, it's pretty much over. But um, yeah, it's just slow and easy. But uh, I don't know, guys. I I loved War for the the season like three through five or six it was like I really loved it it's my bread and butter but uh, all these new defenders where you need a niche counter I'm not feeling it man I don't know about you guys uh, I love getting in sick fights uh, I hate having to lose so much health to bugs and uh, just because I joined the battle uh, I lose health, well, aka Iceman, um, I don't know, wh whichever other defenders there are that also do the same. But, that'll be it for the Alliance War. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. 
Take care.